Welcome back in. I want to give a little video here of the importance of the vacuum testing I like to do on the valve bodies. Um, this particular case is a 4L60E, the most common Chevy transmission on the planet. Anyway, so here's a little diagram here. It's kind of the Bible I go by. And we're going to pay attention to today the actuator feed limit valve, an extremely important and overlooked valve in the valve body. Um, the valve body controls everything in the trans, it's basically the brain. As you can see all the worm tracks in here, your spool valves, it's where your shift valves go, your pressure control solenoid, your shift solenoids, everything goes through here and this controls the unit. Um, and so these spool valves, if you look down on the map here, they close off certain patches, passages and as the valves actuate in their bore, you can see the spools here, it opens up different passages and allows fluid to travel in different directions. Um, so today, like I said, the actuator feed limit valve, the little red areas are the ones we want to seal. So we want to make sure the end of this spool valve is sealing in this bore. And so what this contraption does here, it's from Sonics. You add a little vacuum to it. I'll give you a little tester here. So as you turn the vacuum on, you plug the hole, you're pulling about 25 inches of vacuum. So we're not testing it with pressure, we're testing it with vacuum. So we'll go down to this four here and take a look. So if you look down on the valve body here, come down here, there's a valve right here. And this area here is what we're concerned about. So we're going to put our little rubber goodie there and we'll put this over the top. And we're going to look at our gauge. About 17 inches. Now we're going to go to the other one here. Test. You can see we're holding maybe eight inches. It's on this one, right on that hole. Line it up. Push it down. Not even ten inches. You go back to the good one. Now I like to see at least 15 inches, 20 to 22 is brand new. So this is well in the range of being good to use, well over 15. Um, but it's an important thing because you don't know if these are worn until you put it in the unit and you try to drive it 500 miles, 1,000 miles down the road. Um, you have problems, or in this case with the actuator feed limit, this being as worn as it is, it's not gonna take very long, but say if it was just between the 10 inch and 15 inches, you might get say 30,000 versus another 100,000 miles. So it's very important to check all these. There's repair kits you can do, but sometimes the best thing to do is just replace the valve body. But this little video, I wanna show you the importance of vacuum testing a valve body.